So this is the data from that bears, about the bear weight, measuring the bear's uh, chest girth, and, and then measuring the bear's weight and trying to come up with a regression equation. So you could basically just measure the chest girth and come up with a weight. So how does this uh, sum of squared residuals and how is that related to the least squares regression equation? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do a line, I'm gonna do my own line. I'm gonna show my squared residuals. Okay, and so as you see that, so I'm gonna drag this around and get what I think is the line of best fit. And this is just gonna be me. Okay, I don't know, see, I guess I could, do you see how when I'm moving the, moving everything around, if you take, watch this sum of squared residuals, sum of squared errors. Do you see how that changes and getting bigger and bigger and bigger? So this is the measure that we're gonna use to determine the best line of best fit. So statisticians came up with using the, the, the least squares regression equation. In other words, show that it's the, it's the equation it has the lowest sum of squared residuals. So you see that this red line and the red, red residuals are, is what the least squares regression equation is. And look at that sum of squared residuals is the smallest. The only way I can make my line be that same size is if I match it. If I, you know, if I match it, let's see if I can do this here. I think I gotta grab in the middle. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. But anyways, what I want you to see out of this is here, let me show, let's see, let's get rid of the residuals so I can see what to grab. Here we go, is that what I wanna grab? Okay, so do you see how I can flip that around? Here, let me turn these squared residuals back on. And the only way I can get it to be a, 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 the smallest uh, sum of squared residuals is, is or errors, is when I'm on top of that regression equation, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that this morning. But that's what the sum of squared errors is. And that's where it comes from. It, and that's why we call this the least squares regression equation. It has the smallest sum of squared residuals. I probably said that already today. But so hopefully that helps you understand what's going on with that uh, SSE stuff.